Hey friends, welcome back to Minimalese. My name is Becky Truda and on this channel, I like to talk about decluttering, minimizing, and living your best life. So today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my bedroom and I'm gonna be doing it in about 15 minutes. Today is one of those days that I came home and I know I've gotten a few new things from the thrift store. And so that means that if I'm gonna follow the rule of one thing in, one thing out, it is time to let a few things go. So I'm gonna go over to my closet and I'm gonna get rid of and purge a few things. If I'm not super comfortable getting rid of them right away, I always am able to put them into my spare room where I have a closet where I keep a box of just things that I'm not sure I'm ready to get rid of yet, but I also know that in a month or two, if I am still not really needing it or going to go find it, then I can easily get rid of it. You guys have probably heard the rule about um, you really only wear like 30% of your clothes and that usually is very true for me and that was a big reason why I decluttered tons of my clothes, probably like 80% of my clothes and I'm just left with what I have now. Over the past few weeks, I have accumulated a few new pieces into my wardrobe that I had been looking for but not exactly expecting to get right now and as much as I am happy about that, I do know that there are a few things that I now need to declutter because I try to keep that one in, one out rule. So this is one of the new shirts that I've acquired. It's a little fancier, a little bit nicer um, to go with a pair of jeans or some slacks. So I just liked it a little bit better. I felt like the material was a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this white shirt, which has started to get a little off colored, but it's not awful. Somebody can take it and bleach it, but I'm gonna go put that into my declutter basket. So this is the box. I've taken it out of my decluttering closet in my spare room, and this is where I'm gonna put anything that I am ready to let go. And I do this because while I'm decluttering, I wanna make sure that I'm not getting rid of things that I actually um, would like to keep. So some of these things that I put in here might stay in here for a couple of weeks or months, and some of them I'm going to immediately get rid of. But as long as they're in here, they're not going out the door yet. I don't have to freak out yet. This is just the decluttering basket, and either way, I can keep them or I can let them go immediately. All right, also while I am decluttering, I'm just quickly trying on a few things that I've added to my wardrobe to see if I'm really comfortable keeping them into my wardrobe. And these are two of them. This is a longer um, sweater. It's nice, it's nice and long, it's comfortable. I don't love these side things. So I'm still kind of debating whether I'm gonna keep it or not. And I think it's a good thing to kind of like retry on your clothes real quick if you're getting something new and you can still return it because you don't want to go past that return window and you don't want to have to feel like you have to sell something because that's just a huge hassle and it takes a lot of time and commitment. All right, y'all, so on that note, I think I am actually going to throw this in and think about returning it because I still have time and I'm gonna put this in my bin. All right, y'all, so I have about 10 minutes left where I am gonna go through the rest of my stuff in the closet. I'm gonna quickly go around my room and just make sure everything looks tidy and neat and I think I'm gonna do a quick vacuum if I can fit it in 10 minutes. But remember, it's not about having to do everything in one day, but just try and set yourself small goals. Give yourself 15 minutes to declutter. And if you can't possibly get into a super overpacked room and do it in 15 minutes to your satisfaction, then go to a different place and try there. So I'm gonna work in my closet real quick. I'm gonna go through a few things that I have been on the fence about and I'm going to put them in my bin of things that I am thinking about still and put it in my closet in the other room. If I am really sure that I'm ready to get rid of it, I already have a bag downstairs by the door that is ready to go to the Goodwill. So that's already set up for me. I always keep a bag by the door um, or a box by the door so that at any point I can get rid of things and my daughter can get rid of things and my husband and they all know where the Goodwill bag is. This is another thing I can say. Um, I really like this shirt, but I haven't been wearing it. And so I'm gonna put this also into my basket. And then if in the next couple weeks, 
I gravitate back to it, then awesome. If not, then I'm ready to let it go just because I've noticed that I haven't been wearing it even though I like it. And that's one of the rules for me. Um, I don't necessarily need to have it. And this is one of those things where now I have this long sleeve shirt, which is a looser fit. This one's tighter and I have my tight black one. I think right now it's kind of been enough and I haven't been wearing this one. All right, so like you can see, things get unfolded, um, especially when you have a little bit too much in here. So things get unfolded. I'm gonna go ahead and hang this shirt up because really it should be hung up. And I'm gonna put it over there. Now that I've gotten rid of a few things, I have a little more space and I have some room, um, I have some empty hangers. So I'm gonna hang this one back up and give myself a little more room in this basket where I keep my shirts and t-shirts. These are a pair of jeans that I don't necessarily love on me and I've been trying to find some kind of replacement. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones into my basket over there because I know that I haven't been loving them. All right, so as I look around, there's still a few random things that I need to get rid of, but I really don't have a lot of time. I think I might have just two minutes left. So I'm gonna quickly just go through. I know my daughter, likes to put things in our room. This is her bow bin, so that needs to go back. That's her dress right there I need to go put back. Um, that's just my clicker for when I make videos. That's just my water bottle I've been drinking out of, so that's fine. And then my mom helped my daughter pick this out for us for Christmas. Um, it's not Christmas, it's Halloween, but my daughter couldn't wait to give it to us. So I'm gonna find a cute little place for this in her room. And then guys, I think I'm done. Not too shabby. All right, so now it's just a quick put away. So I've got a few things that I need to put in my daughter's room and put them away. So this is her room right now. She loves a good box. So this is her room. And this is where her bows go. So that's gonna go there. And then I'm just gonna hang this up in her closet with her dresses. All right, so as you can probably see, she did not make her bed this morning and she has one million stuffed animals in there. And there's a few things out, it's not too bad, but I just don't have time for that. So what I like to do is not get stuck on the little things that I walk by when I'm putting things away, but know that I have a goal and my goal was to declutter and clean my room. So I'm gonna leave that for her to pick up and put away when she gets home. So this is her mirror and I just put that little ornament she gave me and my husband Jordan on there because she likes to just hang pretty things on there and she was really excited about giving us this. So I want her to see that we are appreciating it and that it's out and that she has an opportunity to play with it if she wants. All right, so last but not least is my bin right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take those pants out and take them downstairs. And then the bin is gonna go back in the closet in my uh, daughter's like playroom, our guest room, though we don't have a bed in there. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I think that was about 15 minutes. I'm not sure because I forgot to set my timer, but I do have enough time to run to my mom's house now before my daughter gets home. So I, if you wanna come back next week, please hit that subscribe button and it will notify you when I have a new video next week and you can come along with this journey with me.